this one uh, give me access sir. screen sharing okay one minute huh? yeah i have given Can see it. Guys, all of you yes, can sir, see. Yes, I can see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I can see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now this is the home screen of SAP or software. Okay. Now, when you type SPRO in that command box. Okay, guys. Uh, if you're carrying your pen and paper, I mean your book, uh, write down uh, creation of company code. Write down creation of company code. And uh, in bracket, write path P A T H. In bracket, write path P A T H. And then start below. S P R O. Write down S P R O. S P R O stands for S A P Project Reference Object. Am I audible enough to everybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay. SPRO stands for SAP Project Reference Object. Then next, click on SAP Reference IMG. Write down that or that as well. After SPRO, write down SAP Reference IMG, and when you click on SAP Reference IMG, yeah. And then write down IMG stands for implementation guide. Okay. Then click on enterprise structure. Click on the node. Enterprise structure. Uh, 
Are you no, not on that man? I said not. A uh, close at close at. That black color uh, aroma kind of is there, no? Behind that, yeah, take that. So next, write down enterprise structure after uh, IMG. Then after enterprise structure, write down definition. Must you click on definition? No, no, yeah. Then click on financial accounting. Okay. Uh, then we are going to click on define company. But uh, once one minute, one minute, must you hold on, hold on. Once we click on define company, screen will change. So whoever has not written the path right from SPRO. Please note down the path. I give you time. Please note down the path. Then we'll go. We'll click on define company. So we enter into configuration. For define company, Manju, you have to click on that clock, uh, clock sign. Is there no? Uh, but let them write down. Let them write down. If everybody has written down, Manju, if you have written down, then click on it. Huh. Yes, sir. I have written. Okay. Then go ahead. Click on Define Company. Click on New Entry. Click on New Entries. Okay. Here we have to mention company's <coughs> name. It's Alpha Numeric. Alpha Numeric maximum is six digit. But we'll not go for six digits. We'll wind it up in two or three digits. Can somebody suggest some company name? Tata Group. Mm, any other? BMW. Keep keep it in a caps caps. Okay. Then company name British Motor Works. <coughs> British Motor Works. British B R I T I S H. Remove. Yeah. T I S H. B R I T I S H. British Motor Works. M O T O R. British Motor M O T O R. Works. Okay. Then come to the street. Give some street of Bangalore, J P Nagar, Jai Nagar. Anything that comes to your mind. City, keep it Bangalore. Hmm. Country, Ian. Language key, Ian. No, no, close that, close that, close that. All countries will come. Close. Hmm. Language key EN. Currency INR. INR. Okay. So all of you, first note down this. Copy this. Company BMW, company name British Motor Works. Everything, as we have. Given the values in the screen, as we have filled the screen, copy the same screen. 
Try down. <coughs> Sir, I was unable to open this app uh, software. Sir. You are unable to? I mean, get into this user interface. Who is this? Sri Hari. It is showing some error. Now, Sri Hari, you need to get in touch with Dia or Rama okay. because um, <coughs> server access is given by people click mm -hmm. and they'll have a technical guy who's handling that server mm -hmm. he'll be having access to it and he can help you out okay, okay? Mm -hmm. cannot do anything on that <laughs> that's why before starting a class or before thinking of today's class I confirmed with Manju yesterday night, do you have a uh, server access? Because at least if one person would have a server yeah. access, I can use a screen and uh, teach others. That was my idea. And he said, yes, I have a server access and then I decided to have a today's class. Otherwise, I would have postponed it to Monday. Okay? So after class, you can uh, get in touch with uh, Dia. Okay? okay. Copy everything, guys. Yes, sir, I can see. Done? Yeah, sir. Please. Okay. Now, company name we have given BMW. Company uh, name uh, description we have given British Motor Works. Street we have given. City we have given. But the first two are mandatory. Last three are mandatory. Country is predefined. Uh, that's IN company uh, country code. In, uh, language key is predefined, it's EN, English, for English it is EN. Currency is also predefined, In Indian currency we call it INR. So we are filling all the things here. And after this, uh, here what we are doing is we are creating a payment company. <coughs> okay. So Manju, there is a save button in the menu bar. Yeah, save it. Click on the save button. Click on continue. Data was saved. Yeah. You got the message. Data was saved. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So we created company. Okay. We created company. That's a parent company. Uh, you know what is company? Company is a business organization for which separate financials are drawn as per the commercial and the legal requirement of the country IAS Indian Accounting Standards clear company is also known as a client and company is considered as a parent company okay now go back Manju click on back button click on back button there is back button yeah that green one back okay okay hold uh, okay go back completely only do one thing keep keep your cursor in command box slash n okay slash uh, forward slash n okay enter hmm. when you when you give a command of forward slash n you will come back to home screen. Let that point be in your mind. Uh, when you keep the forward slash in, uh, N and enter that command you give, you will go back to home screen. Okay. Now type again SPRO. Can you, can you repeat again that one? Forward. Forward slash N and enter. It will always take you back to home screen. Now, next step of configuration. First step of configuration we are done with. We will go to next step of configuration. And the next step of configuration is creation of company code. I'll write down that first.
क्रिएशन ऑफ कंपनी कोड डन वे ओके एसपीआर इन कमांड बॉक्स एसपीआर एस ए पी रेफरेंस आई एम जी दैट्स ऑल्सो डन इयर्स ओके बट राइट डाउन दैट then enterprise structure enterprise structure then definition then yeah what happened financial accounting then third one edit comma copy comma delete comma check company code Uh, write down that copy that first uh, manju let everyone write down then click on it edit comma copy comma delete comma check company code Double click on edit company code data. Write down that. Then double click on company edit company code data. Click on new entries. company code now guys you need to understand one one thing here pause and understand listen attentively understand one thing here company is a parent company that we created let's take an example of tata as you guys said now tata is what a parent company what is the name of the parent company tata industries limited now when it comes to company code its sister concerns or subunits we have so many varieties what are those varieties variety of company tata has created variety of businesses it is into let's say tata cement tata cement tata steel right tata petrochemicals then uh, tata is into everything uh, we you name the things tata motors then tata is into software also tcs okay likewise they have uh, different different companies under the parent company likewise we will create company code we are creating a company code that is a subunit of a parent company so we'll make it bmw1 okay company name same british motor works
en language ki en copy everything let everybody write down let everybody copy the screen understand man uh for uh, what is your original language kannada marathi hindi telugu telugu huh telugu telugu i am not very perfect in telugu i know manageable Sri, telugu sri hari garu hmm man vera screen lo unti malla home screen ga unte slash n putna anko meer akkad kostaru anamata home screen okay ante forward button unnaga forward button फारवर्ड बटन का स्लाश इंटरप्रिटर मंजू ओके ग्रेट मंजू सो यू नो गुड आई गॉट नो वन इफ यू रिटर्न डाउन एवरीथिंग द save it okay click uh, so title is company title company and name again british motor works country i n okay this three things are mandatory while practicing you can fill that street all the stuff city if you want all that address and all those things but this three things are mandatory unavoidable okay so copy this also write down this also then click on continue button
एक टर्न कंटिन्यू ओके देन नेक्स्ट थर्ड का स्टेप ऑफ कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज असाइन कंपनी कोड टू कंपनी साइन कंपनी को टू कंपनी एस पी आर ओ एस ए पी रेफरेंस आई एम जी पाथ राइट डाउन द पाथ एस पी आर ओ एस ए पी रेफरेंस आई एम जी फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग सॉरी सॉरी बैक सॉरी एंटरप्राइज स्ट्रक्चर असाइनमेंट फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग फर्स्ट वन असाइन कंपनी को टू कंपनी then click on assign company go to company click on position <coughs> type your company code what is your company code bmw bmw 1 1 क्लिक ऑन कंटिन्यू कंपनी बीएमडब्ल्यू कंपनी कोड इज बीएमडब्ल्यू वन कंपनी इज पीएमडब्ल्यू क्लियर note down everything and then save it
done guys yes yes sir okay so <coughs> what we did is <coughs> we created a company then we created a company code then we assigned company code to company okay so next thing that we are going to <coughs> learn is fiscal year uh, next thing that we are going to learn is fiscal year uh, can anybody tell me what is fiscal year physically means uh, uh, april to march is physical year sir tol months of fiscal year is nothing but it's a financial year <coughs> fiscal is a year is nothing but it's a financial year okay now how many types of fiscal year we have manju uh, three is what are one is uh, april to one is april to march uh, one is uh, june uh, june to july hmm and uh, one more uh, jan to dis jan to december june to july april to march uh, okay any anyone else kartik rajesh nidhi shri hari ंडलोर्स It, it depends on quarter based yeah. four quarter yeah, so four, what it is four months every four months yeah. so what is that uh, every fiscal. four months fiscal is it year. different for no mm. okay we oh, you mean so the quarter it will come it? only three months right yeah yeah three. first means only three months it will come yeah. four into three twelve months okay uh, you guys need to understand what we call april to march what is that called as technically or what we call jan to december what is called what is that called technically any idea finance year yeah financial year only but we study types of financial year types of fiscal year or types of financial year and what are those types of financial year <clears throat> now okay what is that jan to december so the easiest one i'll ask you what is that jan to december what do we call it as this one is calendar year exactly right jan to december is nothing but it's a calendar year so you understood one type is one type of financial year or fiscal year is calendar year so next one non calendar year correct yes yes so understand what is calendar year when a business organization begins its financial year when a business organization begins its financial year on january 1st and ends its financial year on december 31st as per the british calendar
when a business i'll repeat it when a business organization begins its financial year on january 1st and ends its financial year on december 31st in that case we call that financial year a calendar year when a business organization begins its financial year on january 1st and ends its financial year in on december 31st as per british calendar in that case we call it calendar year is that clear yes sir yeah yes ma'am no, no. okay now what is non calendar year then a non calendar year is when a business organization begins its financial year on some other date other than january 1st and ends on some other date other than december 31st in that case we call it non calendar year the date can be anything but it will not begin on this uh, jan 1st and it will not end on december 31st apart from that it can begin on any other date it can end on any other date in that case we call it non calendar year okay just give me a break i'll take a sip of water okay so we got to know we understood a uh, two types of calendar uh, two types of fiscal years calendar year non calendar year third one is year independent okay when a business organization begins its financial year on some particular standard date and month and ends its financial year on some particular standard date and month the beginning date and the month of the financial year and the ending date and the month of the financial year are constantly same every year when there is no variation or no fluctuation neither in the beginning date and month of the financial year nor in the ending date and the month of the financial year in that case we call it year independent clear yes, guys am i clear repeat again navin yeah fine that's the reason i ask you whether you are clear or not <clears throat> when a business organization begins its financial year on some particular date and month some particular standard date and month and ends its financial year on some particular standard date and month <clears throat> the beginning date and the month of the financial year and the ending date and the month of the financial year are constant every year when there is no fluctuation when there is no variation neither in the beginning date and the month of the financial year nor in the ending date and the month of the financial year in that case we call it year independent am i clear <clears throat> yeah good now you are done with year independent let's go for year dependent 
नेक्स्ट वन फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ फिजिकल ईयर और फाइनेंशियल ईयर ईयर डिपेंडेंट when a business organization begins its financial year on some particular uh, on some uncertain date and month <clears throat> not particular i replace that word with uncertain some uncertain date and month and ends its financial year on some uncertain date and month when there is no standard certain date and month on the beginning of the financial year or when there is no certain standard date and month on the ending of the financial year in that case we call it year dependent it will start on any day any month ends on any day any month nothing is fixed nothing is certain complete uncertainty year dependent understood clear guys yes sir yeah okay now the last one that we come across is short end fiscal year so we are switching to fifth type of calendar year and the fifth type is short end fiscal year okay short end fiscal year when a financial year when a business, when a financial year of any business organization contains or consists less than 12 months in it I'll I repeat it again. When a financial year of any business organization contains or consists less than twelve months in it, it is considered as a short end fiscal year. Be it eleven month, twenty nine days, it is considered. short end fiscal year be it 3 months short end fiscal year 6 months short end fiscal year 9 months short end fiscal year be it 11 month 29 days also short end fiscal year am i clear yes sir okay so guys so far we learned so many things yeah yes uh, david yeah hello yeah hello क्वेश्चन Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Simple. Ah, uh, when it cannot carry on its business for twelve months, there are some business which cannot carry on for twelve months. They wind up well before twelve months. When it comes to seasonal business, now you say groundnut oil, soya bean oil. Okay. All those businesses are seasonal businesses. can you expect them to continue for 12 months in off season as well cotton business can a cotton business be for 12 months no not at all right okay yeah they get the cotton from the fields they get it cleaned they get it jotted moreover maximum to maximum they sell it in the wholesale market not in the retail market cotton is wholesale wholesale market they sell it people like urban mills people like cloth manufacturing companies pharma companies they buy cotton because surgical wards hospitals they also need cotton 
So they buy it in a wholesale. Once the wholesale business, in wholesale business, it is sold, they wind up their accounts. They wait for the next season. So let's say the business is for six months, eight months, maximum nine months, including closure of accounts. Right? Sweary. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, Rajesh. Rajesh asked this question, right? Yeah. Clear, Rajesh? Yeah. Yeah, Navin. Okay. Yeah, uh, clear, Navin. Ah, uh, one more doubt. Hmm. Yeah. So you said uh, type four physical year. It is a certain start with a certain uh, uh, date and end with a certain date. So why uh, the uh, why this type of uh, uh, physical year following the company? So can you give an example? What is that? Certain, certain or uncertain? Be uh, clear in asking question. Yes. It's certain or uncertain. what word you are uh, uncertain because uncertain right good question okay <clears throat> now road construction project when the tender is called you don't know god knows indian government state government central government right you are only a contractor you are only a contractor construction yeah. you are only a construction company you don't know when government will call the tender you will put a tender you don't know when tender will clear when the tender will pass okay when you will get the tender when the construction road construction will start when it will end can you say it will start in april only can you say it will end in march only no right no no oh yeah so in that case yes it's uncertain dam construction projects you don't know when they'll start you don't know when they'll end clear rajesh okay okay yeah yeah clear never clear thank you so guys uh, time of for today's class okay we'll continue tomorrow hmm? not tomorrow monday till then you can practice this uh, you can have your you can log in into server on your own you can practice whatever has been taught to you whenever you have a free time okay sure, sure. whatever doubts you have it's not completely clear uh, still discussion is on uh, like uh, need to be completed we'll continue it on monday we'll complete it okay clear guys okay. yes yes okay okay fine guys have a good day yeah. bye thank you sir okay thank you thank you bye navin bye 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 navin bye bye